Hello everyone, it's Renita Baird, PEI's Medium. I'm here to give you this upcoming angel card reading for Monday, May the 1st until Sunday, May the 7th. Welcome to May. So as we come into the 1st of May, we're looking at the beginning of a new season of fishing on Prince Edward Island and farming on Prince Edward Island. And I hope you'll join me in sending extra angels to all of these individuals who work in and around these uh, parts of agriculture on Prince Edward Island to ensure a very safe and profitable upcoming season for all involved. Let's start by saying a prayer. Dear God and Heavenly Father, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, I ask that you are with all workers in agriculture, on the fields and on the water, ensure safe travels and ensure the safety of all individuals as they continue to work this upcoming season. We call upon Archangel Michael and the Archangels of Abundance to be with all of these individuals to ensure a profitable season for all involved. Thank you. And it's as simple as that, just calling on the angels and the archangels to be with everyone. You can do that as well. Archangel Michael is the protecting angel, and Archangel Raphael and Michael in combination help people to travel safely to and from their destinations without incident. So ask these angels to be with your loved ones, your friends, your family um, that are working in these fields. Um, just on Prince Edward Island this past week, there was a, uh, a memorial celebration to honor those who lost their lives uh, on work-related uh, injuries, because of work-related injuries. And we really want to send these extra angels to all of these people that are working in these fields, because sometimes these fields aren't always safe for all individuals. And we want to recognize and honor that, honor those who have lost their lives, and we want to continue to send angels out so that this doesn't, these tragedies don't continue to happen to families across Prince Edward Island. So coming up in the month of May, I have two workshops coming up. The first one is Saturday, May the 6th in Charlottetown, and it's in regards to energy and the highly sensitive person. So if you are working in the field of Reiki or health or healing, you're a massage therapist or you work hands-on and in person with people such as even hairdressers and uh, what have you, um, it's really important that you learn to recognize how you deal with energy. Um, are you highly sensitive to other people's energy? So if somebody comes comes to you and they unload all of their troubles and their despairs, do you take that energy on? Well, if so, allow the angels and I to teach you how to help the individual without taking their energy home with you. Because really, at the end of the day, you should be going home to a peaceful and sacred environment and enjoying your evening without having to worry or bring energy home with you. So we teach you how to do that. We teach you how to empower yourself energetically as well so that you're not taking on other people's energies and so that you're not drawing that type of energy to you in the first place so that you have to learn how to manipulate and move it around. Um, and as well, if you're, if you're developing, if you're at the very beginning, you tend to be a little bit more intuitive and you might even call it having, having had some psychic kits or premonitions and you want to learn how to work with that because also this is about psychic protection for anybody who's beginning at this field and feel that it's a little bit overwhelming. So there's still just a few spots left. It's almost full this workshop. So if you are interested, you can email me, ronitamarybaird at gmail.com or you can call me 902-838-5031 to register. At the end of the month on um, Saturday, I believe it's May 28th, it's on my website, renitabearpei.com, I have another workshop entitled Mediumship, Bridging Heaven and Earth. 
And this is for individuals who have someone on the other side. Perhaps you're in the process of grieving. Perhaps you're in the process of um, stepping, taking that next step in your life. And you're just really wanting to recognize how the spirit world connects with us. How your loved one is trying to make connections with you on a daily basis. So I tell people it's as simple as this. I could sit down with you and within a half an hour have you reading a note or two of music and playing the piano. It's that music is just another language. Well, so is mediumship. So is recognizing how the non-physical world connects with us, the physical world. It's another language. So in this upcoming workshop, and it, this is a half a day workshop, I will be teaching you how spirit connects with us, the language of spirit. And I'll be teaching you how to quiet your mind and quiet your thoughts through meditative processes in order to really get and sense how those messages are coming across to you. So you can expect to learn uh, a lot in a short period of time, and when you leave, you'll have a better recognition and understanding of the process of mediumship and how the non-physical world is sending us signs. Their language, their, the language of spirit. It's going to be an awesome weekend, so check it out on my website, runnytobeardpei.com. So coming up this week, May 1st through the 7th, let's look at Monday and Tuesday. Playtime. So I'm using the Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle card deck. And this card deck is all about manifestation and bringing in positive new changes to your life and helping you gauge more insight into what your next step in life is so that you can gain the most from life. So Monday, Tuesday is playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestation. So how tight have you been holding your muscles? How rigid have your thoughts been lately? How time-consuming or how many lists have you made recently? What is your day like? Is it schedule, 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 schedule? This card comes to you at a time when you need to lighten up and you need to take some time for you and to play. So, have you gone for a walk lately? Of course, it's about connecting with nature. So, have you? what have you done for you lately? Get out a good book and sit and just read, even if only for a half an hour. Watch the sun rise. Watch the sun set. Listen to the birds. Just allow yourself to sit and take in all of the smells and scents that nature can provide for us. Go down to the beach. Play, 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 play. Please, Monday and Tuesday, get a little bit of fun time in for you, not for the people around you, for you. Coming into Wednesday and Thursday, healing heart. Oh, you're going to get an apology from somebody. So somebody listening to this right now, this video, is going to get an apology coming your way. In some way, shape, or form, there's going to be apologetic energy coming to you. I just heard the angel say that really fast. I was like, oh. Well, that's good. Um, so with the healing heart, you are a powerful healer and keep up the great work. So for those of you that are in the healing profession, what this card is coming to you at a time is that I know the angels are saying, we know that you have been feeling a little overwhelmed and a little bit like you're trying to catch your breath some days, but you're meant to be doing what you're meant to be doing because the angels are saying, we need you more in this life more than ever. But that's why we ask you to schedule, schedule your playtime in because you're so needed to bring your healing love, your healing light, and your healing energy to other people. Because the more people you, the, the better, the more healthier you are, the more people that you help in this world. And then that creates a ripple effect. And then we have a world full of healing hearts. And wouldn't that be pretty awesome? Coming into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. So have you asked your angels for help with this? 
because if you haven't, ask. Ask the angels, what, what are your dreams? What are your hopes? What are your wishes? The angels will help. They will come into your life and they will start setting up synchronistic events and synchronistic things to help you and to guide you. So listen. If your mind is too busy, you need to learn how to quiet it. Take a workshop that's coming up with myself on my website, RenitaBearPEI.com. Schedule some playtime. Listen to the nature. Heal your own heart and stay optimistic because the angels want you to know that they have your back. They've always been there for you. Don't give up. I can tell you personally the number of, the number of times in my life where I've been challenged by the challenging events that happen in our lifetimes. And there's been times when I've just woke up sat on the side of my bed and said, God, I can't do this anymore. And then, boom. Big doorway of opportunity opens. And that's the angels. That's God and the angels being with you and ensuring that you get to the next step in your life. So, please, Stay optimistic. If it's a little overwhelming, you just take it one day at a time, one minute at a time. When it's too much, you just say, I only have to get through one minute. Guardian angels, be by my son. My favorite prayer, because my favorite prayer for whenever I start to get that <gasps> worry, worry type of energy come over me, I call on my guardian angels. Those are the divine beings that are by your side, by my side, by everybody's side. They've been born to you the moment of your birth. They were there. God sent them to you to help you and to guide you in this lifetime. I call on them to surround me with their energy. I ask them to ground my energy so that I get the, it kind of takes away the shakiness settles my thoughts. I ask them to breathe for me because when we get anxious or upset or we lose our optimism, our breath becomes shallow and quickened and then that, that upsets our spirits. So I ask my guardian angels to breathe for me now and then I ask the angels to return me to a feeling of peace. And it goes like this. Dear God, I call upon my guardian angels to surround me now. Ground my energy. Breathe for me and return me to a feeling of peacefulness now. Thank you. And so you can do the same for yourself. And I will repeat that prayer every five minutes. And then you'll find yourself only having to, to think it once a day. And then, boom, the more you use it, the better you get at calling them in, feeling their energy and their loving support and guidance around you. So know that they, they're with you. And as soon as you start to call in your guardian angels, wonderful things will start to happen. So I'm sending you so much love, so much light, and so many angel blessings for an awesome week ahead. Until next week.